kids, kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! And this video will help you learn about the evaluating algebraic expressions. To evaluate an algebraic expression is to find its numerical value by substituting a given set of numbers in place of letters or variables. So we have the given examples. Number 1, evaluate 3x plus 5 when x is equal to 2. First step is to substitute the given values for each variable. As you can see, isa lang ang ating variable which is yung variable x. And in here, sa ating given, the given or the value of x is 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin is to substitute the number 2 or the constant 2 to the variable x. So, magiging 3 times 2 plus 5. So, sa algebra, hindi tayo gumagamit na ng letter x for the multiplication symbol dahil gumagamit na tayo ng mga, const uh, sorry, ng mga variables katulad ng letter x. So, sa halip na ang isulat ay 3x2, ginawa na lang natin na 3, open parenthesis 2, and then close. Or pwede ding dot. So, 3 times 2 plus 5. Second step is to simplify the expression within the parenthesis. So, ang binabangkit dyan na parenthesis ay yung dalawa o higit pang numbers na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Pero dito, sa ating solution, since isang number lang, which is number 2, ang ating nasa loob ng parenthesis, proceed tayo sa third step. So, third step is to simplify the expressions with exponents. Kapag sinabing exponents, iyon yung mga numbers na nasa upper right o nasa taas sa kanan ng isang number. Pero dahil wala tayong nakikitang exponent sa ating solution, proceed tayo sa fourth step. Perform all indicated operations and simplify the results. Kapag magsosolve tayo or isisimplify natin ang ating resulting expression, kailangan nating sundin ang PEMDAS. Ano nga ba ang PEMDAS? Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, since wala tayong exponent at isang number lang ang nasa loob ng parenthesis, proceed tayo sa multiplication division. Ano nga ba ang given na multiplication division sa ating solution? Iyon e yung 3 times 2. So, ibig sabihin, uunahin natin ang multiply ang 3 sa 2 bago natin i-add sa 5. So, let us multiply 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5. Next, since ito na lang ang natitira, proceed tayo sa addition. 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So, that is the final answer. Second example, evaluate x minus 1 quantity squared when x equals 9. So, ganun lamang. Sundin natin yung mga uh, steps. So, meron tayong first step, substitute the given values. For each variable, so ang given down na variable x is 9, so this will be 9 minus 1 quantity squared. Next is to simplify the expression within the parentheses. So since meron tayong dalawang numbers sa loob ng open and close parentheses, so i-minus natin yung 9 sa 1. Kaya naging 8 squared. Kinopya lang natin yung exponent na 2. Third step, simplify the expressions with exponents. So, meron tayong exponent na 2. Kapag sinabing 8 squared, hindi yung 8 times 2. That is 8 times 8. So, 8 times 8 is 64. Another example. Evaluate 6AB minus C over ABC when A equals 5, B equals 3, and C is equal to 10. Again, let us apply the PEMDAS. Sundan natin yung mga steps. First is to substitute the given values for the variable a, b, and c to our expression. Kaya magiging 6 times 5 times 3 minus 10 over 5 times 3 times 10. So again, hindi tayo gumamit ng x na symbol para sa multiplication. Pwedeng dot or pwedeng open and close parenthesis. Second step is to simplify the expression within the parenthesis. Again, sa bawat parenthesis ay may tigay isang number, so proceed tayo sa third step, exponents. So wala rin given na exponent, proceed tayo sa fourth step. Perform all indicated operations and simplify the result. PEMDAS. Walang T, 
Walang E, so proceed tayo sa M, D, A, S. Multiplication, since meron tayong mga open and close parentheses, so i-multiply natin ang 6 sa 5 at sa 3. 6 times 5 is 30, times 3 is um, 90. And then, kokopyahin lang natin yung minus 10. Sa denominator naman, 5 times 3 is 15, times 10 is 150. So, the resulting equation or expression is 90 minus 10 over 150. Next, tapos na tayo sa um, pagsisimplify using the multiplication. So, isolve muna natin yung nasa numerator. Hindi natin kayang i-divide ang numerator sa denominator kung ang isa man sa kanila ay may katabi pang isang third. So, dito, uunahin natin yung subtraction. So, 90 minus 10 is 80 over 150. Next is, uh, to divide 80 by 150. Pero since hindi kayang i-divide ang 80 sa so 150, hanapin lang natin yung kanilang least common denominator, or sorry, least common factor or multiple. So, saang number kayang i-divide ang 80 at 150? So, that is 10. So, the final answer is 8 over 50. Because 80 divided by 10 is 8, and 150 divided by 10 is 15. Fourth example, evaluate 4x cubed minus 2y plus z squared when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to 3. Again, don't forget to follow the PEMDAS rule. So we have again the fourth step. First step is to substitute the given values for each variable. So this will be 4 times 2 cubed minus 2 times 1 plus 3 squared. Ang x cubed ay naging 2 cubed. Ang 2y ay naging 2 times 1. At ang z squared ay naging 3 squared based on the given value of each given variable. Second step is to simplify the expression within the parentheses. So, uh, hindi natin gagawin yung second step dahil wata, wala tayong nakikitang gagawin operation sa o, loob ng parentheses. Third step, simplify the expressions within exponents or with exponents. So, since meron tayong dalawang constant na merong exponents, let us now simplify. And then, kokopyahin lang natin yung 4 at ang minus 2 times 1. So, magiging 4 times 8 minus 2 plus 9 because 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2 so that is 8 minus 2 times 1 is 2 and then 3 squared is 3 times 3 so that is 9. Next is to perform all indicated operations and simplify the result. So 4 times 8 is 32 and then bin ring down lang natin yung 2 plus 9. Dahil sa PEMDAS, na unang multiplication kaysa sa addition and subtraction. Next, 32 minus 2 plus 9. Alin nga bang uunahin natin? Is it 32 minus 2 or 2 plus 9? Sa ating PEMDAS, na unang addition sa subtraction. Pero, kapag pareho silang present sa given expression, kung ano man yung nauna sa expression, iyon yung una nating isosolve. Therefore, uunahin natin I-minus ang 32 sa 2 bago natin siya i-add sa 9. So, magiging 30 plus 9. So, the final answer is 39. So, let us now summarize what we have learned. To evaluate an algebraic expression, first is to substitute the given values for each variable. Second step is to simplify the expression within the uh, parentheses. Third step is to simplify the expressions with exponents. And the last is to perform all indicated operations and simplify the result. Again, palagi pong susundan ang PEMDAS. Kapag ang given sa expression ay multiplication at division, kung ano man ang naunang isulat sa kanila, iyon yung unang isoso. It's either division or multiplication. Ganon din sa addition at subtraction. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!